Got two Bama saltwater pumping our rigs set out there with some shrimp and fish bites. This one just got wrecked. Let's see what hit this one. Dang. It's either swimming the beach hard or it's gone. No, it's on. It's on. There we go. <laughs> All right, we just got this one. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> That's a keeper. This one's going home with us. That is awesome. Really nice pump. And check that out on my single drop Bama salt water surf rig. Sand flea fish bites and a piece of dead shrimp. One of the finest eating fish that swims out here on our Gulf Coast, along with whiting. But Pompano just so delicious. They have a very mild, nice white meat to them. Let's go throw him in the cooler. I got my limit with an awesome day of fishing in the surf. Now it's time to put our fish on the grill. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Bama saltwater fishing video. I hope y'all can hear me because every time I decide to cook outside, the wind is blowing like crazy. It is the next day. It is 2022. I hope y'all had a great new year. But today, I'm going to show you how I'm going to cook them. So I got the grill going. It's really windy, so I hope my coals light good. But let's go ahead and go over to our cleaning table and prep these fish. Show you the ingredients that I'm going to use. And we're going to get to grilling. Really simple stuff today. Just if you catch something, you can do this with any fish, not just pompano, but pompano makes it even better. So here are the three fish I caught yesterday. All beautiful. Let's go ahead and take our fillet knife here, but I'm not gonna fillet them. All I'm gonna do is get the scales off, the slime off, the guts, gills. I'm just gonna fill dress them. So you can do this with a spoon. There's a whole bunch of different ways of approaching this, but I take the back of a knife because it's right here and available and just take these scales off. Pompano, they have a very smooth skin, but they still have scales. Very, very extremely small scales, just like that. But you don't wanna be eating those. And I'm gonna be leaving the skin on while I'm grilling. So let's go ahead and descale all these fish. You can also do that with the spoon too. See, it works real well with the spoon. A serrated knife works good. Just whatever you have at hand. Scaling a fish is not hard. All right, I have scaled these fish. Showed you two different methods. Next thing we're gonna do, slice from the gill down to that anal fin there. And we're gonna dress it or remove the innards. So we'll do that. All right, there is a field dressed pompano. No scales, no slime. I did remove the eyeballs and field dressed it. So gills and everything, it's clean fish. Lastly, before I cook it and season it, I wanna score it to allow for even cooking and allow that seasoning to get down into the meat. So this is another simple task. Just do cross hatches. So do diagonal down and then rotate it 90 degrees and do diagonal, see? As if you're slicing up a mango or something. Don't forget the top part of the head as well. There's a lot of really good meat. Actually, my favorite bite of the pompano is right there. And there's a crosshatch fish. Now you can put your seasoning down inside the meat of that fish. And it'll be much more even cooking. So, let's do the same thing on this back side. There's a pompano ready to be seasoned and cooked. It's gonna be so good. Check out how beautiful that meat is right there. They're actually in the Jack family, but they're one of the tastiest Jacks out there. All right, well, hopefully y'all can hear me because of the wind and hopefully we don't have any audio issues, but if we do, we can adjust. But I have my pompano here. Got some extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. And then lastly, I have some Tex Joy. We have a good friend of ours, a good friend of my mom's that is from Texas but she lives here and when she goes over there, she brings us back Tex Joy. And this is some extremely good seafood seasoning. I love Chef Paul's, but it's always good to change it up every now and then. You can see how terrible the wind is, but I have a really nice bed of coals going down, nice hot coals. And then on top, I lay some aluminum foil. I probably should have wrapped the aluminum foil around my grill first, but it is what it is. First thing we want to do is take our extra virgin olive oil and get a nice coating on our fish. The olive oil will allow your fish to get real nice and crispy, but doesn't burn. And it's not as fatty as actual butter. But if you want to use butter, because I use it a lot, you can. But right now we're going to do the extra virgin olive oil. Pompano is a very mild, white, and flaky fish. 
So you don't want to overdo it on stuff. And we're not going to be afraid to get our hands dirty here. There we go. Go ahead and coat the entire fish in my olive oil. You just want just enough to where it doesn't stick to your aluminum foil. Next, I'm gonna add my Tex Joy while it's still in the bowl. Open it up. There we go. Just a nice even coating. Give it a rub. Man, that seasoning smells absolutely wonderful right there. It's a very good, feels like you're by the water, which we are blessed to be able to be right by the water. It makes it even better. We know exactly where this fish came from, but that smell will take you back to the beach. You don't have to worry about using too much of the Tex Joy. Same thing with Chef Paul's, because it's not extremely salty. So I don't like a lot of salt in my seasoning, but everyone's taste buds are different. But that's why I use these seasonings that I do because then you can add salt like we're about to once it gets on the grill. But there's some seasoned fish. Now it's time to put our fish on the grill. We added some EVOO and we coated it in some Tex Joy as well, just to give it that nice Cajun seafood flavor. All right, let's go ahead and lay our pompano down. That EVOO should help not stick because it's some crappy aluminum foil here. But we want it right on top of the coal. I just had that roll on there because it was flying away. <laughs> it's extremely hot. Lastly, you can add some salt. That's why I included it in the ingredients list, but the Tex Joy has just enough in there for me. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that crushed pepper. Freshly ground. All right, one more thing before we shut the lid on and let it cook. Let's just go ahead and squeeze a lemon over them. Let that lemon juice help work and cook into that fish's meat. Get some nice added flavor in there. And now, time to shut the lid. We're gonna let these cook with the lid closed but the vents open for about seven to eight minutes. We'll come back and check it. Total cook time should be roughly 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm not gonna flip them, that's why I close that lid. So you can let that warm, hot air from those coals circulate around and give it a nice smoky grilled flavor. So we'll see you in just a bit when we come back and check them. All right, y'all, it's been about seven minutes. Let's check it out. Oh, those look absolutely awesome. They aren't completely done yet, but they're getting there. So what I'm gonna do, one more thing, I'm gonna take another slice of lemon just to keep them nice and moist. There we go. And we'll just set this one in the middle of them. Boom, just like that, because mom likes grilled lemon, so I figured I'd grill that little slice for her. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and put the lid back on and let them finish cooking. All right, y'all, it has been 15 minutes total cook time. Let's go ahead and check our fish here. I'd already spread some lemon on there. And then I shove that one in the middle to get grilled. Squeeze some of that juice out of that grilled lemon. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and plate our pompano here. Let's go ahead and slide our pompano on there. Make sure the juices stay with it. Check that out. There's one of them. And let's do it with the next one here. Some really cheap aluminum foil, so you gotta be careful. And there's the second pompano. Look how beautiful that is. Now these are some good looking fish. So what you want to happen is you want this skin to peel right off just like that, revealing some beautiful white meat. So I'm going to try this first. There we go. Check that out. Pompano is such a delicate, white, flaky meat. Let's go ahead and take a bite because I'm going to leave one plain and I'm going to add some mom's homemade salsa on the other one. So let's try a bite here. It's gonna be hot. That right there is absolutely delicious. It's got a buttery crispy taste, but we didn't use any butter. It's just got a really nice Cajun seafood flavor as if you're eating some steamed Cajun blue crabs. This pompano is absolutely delicious. It is cooked perfect. One more bite here before we do the topping on the other one. This is my favorite bite on the pompano. And if you fillet a pompano, 
you want to make sure you get all that head meat on your fillet so you go like that instead of straight down like other fish because look at this bite right here that's the sweetest bite on the fish and my personal favorite bite mm. <laughs> there's nothing bad fishy about that it is absolutely delicious i wish y'all could smell it right now too being at the water's edge is absolutely a blessing and we know where this fish came from. I cleaned it myself. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of salsa to the other one. This is mom's homemade salsa with some serrano chilies, tomato, garlic. It's delicious with chips, but we're gonna top this one pompano with it. Nothing too much. So there's a choice. If somebody wants salsa on there, you got one with the salsa. And then if you don't want it, we got the plain one. There we go. Take my fork. Peel off that skin just a little bit. You can eat the skin, there's nothing wrong with it, but I just personally like peeling it away and getting to the meat. Now there's a bite with some awesome of that homemade salsa. Let's go ahead and get that money bite here. Man, that's gonna be so good because I've already tried the salsa with some chips. Can't wait to try it with the fish. Mmm. That is a true coastal taste. If I had the choice of giving someone a bite of any fish I've ever made or ever had to describe how good saltwater fish taste, I would give them that exact bite that I just took right there with that salsa. That is absolutely amazing. It's got that texture on there, a little bit of that fresh ground black pepper, extra version olive oil made it nice and crispy, grilled on some hot coals outside. You can't get any better than that. We're gonna go ahead and chow down. I appreciate y'all for watching. I hope y'all can get out there and do some surf fishing yourself and feel free to try this recipe. If you like these catching cooks, drop a like, leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button to keep up with some more excellent content like this. The pompano is probably the best tasting fish you can catch off the beach and one of the simplest fish you can catch as well. You don't need a boat to go out and enjoy nature and do saltwater fishing. I appreciate y'all for watching as always. See you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up up for everything he does for us. We'll see you later. No bones at all. Absolutely delicious. Mm. We gone.